better yeah okay great so i was just saying welcome to everybody all the speakers and the participants and uh, so it's a great thing to see so many people come up for a biology conference here and uh, so welcome uh, as you all know this is the fourth school the joint ict pict is uh, winter school on quantitative systems biology it's held alternately between trieste and uh, bangalore and uh, again welcome so i'll there'll be some more remarks about the organization of the school but before that i'll ask professor rajesh gopkumar who's the icts director to say a few words about icts thanks vijay uh, so uh, again like vijay i would like to welcome you all uh, i guess for most of you it is your first visit to icts perhaps some of you have come for the previous uh, uh school uh, but that was in the iisc campus where we were in transit uh, uh but now as you see we have begun the process of moving in here though uh, as you also see uh, it's say, incomplete but uh, we hope that uh, uh, you'll be indulgent in the Oops, sorry Uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, we hope that you will sort of uh, uh, put up with uh, the few inconveniences that uh, will inadvertently crop up. I'm sure. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, since it's uh, uh, since it's probably a first visit for many of you to uh, ICTS, I thought I will give a. small little overview of what icts is uh, uh, before you start on your uh, exciting uh, program uh, so um, uh, so icts was actually established in 2007 and as i just said we have been functioning uh, so far out of the campus in the indian institute of science uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, it's it aims to be a sort of a different center a, a different uh, a uh, scientific center in the indian context in the sense that it it sees itself as enabling the scientific research in india uh, to uh, to move to a higher plane uh, specifically in the areas of basic sciences and mathematics uh, and uh, uh, so how uh, well one of the core mandates is uh, Uh, of icts is to organize high quality visitor driven programs and schools like this one uh, and so where we bring in a lot of people from uh, uh, around the world and that's why it says international uh, uh, so we hope that uh, uh, we'll have these um, uh, we hope to organize lots of these programs and schools of varying duration uh, and uh, so, uh, so some are schools but others are more research oriented programs i guess this one is a bit of a mix of both uh, uh, so um, uh, and the idea as i said is to bring together researchers in india uh, as well as from abroad and to uh, interact share expertise and hopefully collaborate and uh, in fact i believe there are uh, projects going on in your um, uh, projects here and i hope you will uh, use the opportunity to collaborate and build up uh um partnerships uh, so um, so that's one of the core mandates icts has sort of three mandates uh, the other is our in house research itself where we hope to uh, uh, be at the uh, at the top of the uh field and we have uh, ours is not a big in house group but we uh, uh, we hope to have a core faculty with uh, uh, several different disciplines overlapping in uh, theoretical sciences and um, uh, uh, the uh, the faculty have various core strengths in different areas but we encourage them to have interests uh, across disciplines as well uh, so i'll say a little bit more about the sort of distribution of our faculty a little later Uh, the third core mandate is outreach uh, which is often sort of uh, uh, underplayed in many uh, scientific institutions uh, but uh, icts we believe that uh, scientific research ought to be sort of brought uh, uh, to the public uh, so, uh, for the long term health of science and uh, as a social responsibility and in fact during the course of your program there will be a public lecture by ken ono who is a very well known mathematician and uh, he will give a public lecture on the work of ramanujan the indian mathematician after whom this uh, auditorium is named uh, and uh, he uh, in fact he is involved in the he's the mathematical consultant uh, 
uh, for a Hollywood movie that's uh, due to be released in May called The Man Who Knew Infinity. It's uh, based on a biography of Ramanujan. Uh, and uh, it stars Jeremy Irons and Dave Patel and so on. Uh, so um, he'll give you a small trailer from the movie and so on. So it'll be a fun lecture. So I encourage all of you to attend it. It will be on the 17th at 4 o'clock. Uh, probably in the big auditorium. So uh, so please do come for that. Uh, any case, uh, uh, so that's uh, uh, an example of the sort of uh, outreach we do. And uh, we've partnered with various organizations involved in science education. Uh, Vijay himself is someone who has ties with the science education community in Bangalore. So, uh, so we hope to increase that over time. So these were the sort of three core mandates. Uh, I'll just take a little bit of time to go into uh, a little more detail about the research and the programs. Uh, so, uh, so ICTS has about a dozen or so faculty at the moment, and a large floating population of uh, uh, visitors, postdoctoral fellows, graduate students. Uh, so in the graduate program, we've started the graduate program in physics and from the coming year in mathematics as well. Uh, and um and we also have a, a linkage with uh, a joint program with NCBS, the National Center for Biological Sciences. Uh, so in principle, some of our graduate students uh, can uh, sort of uh, work there as well and vice versa. Uh, so, uh, so there are, uh, so there's, that's the graduate program we are running. The, the current research areas at ICTS uh, uh, range from astrophysical relativity, uh, about the measurement of gravitational waves, one of the predictions of Einstein's general relativity, whose centenary we are celebrating. Uh, there's a group working on data assimilation and dynamical systems. Uh, there's another one in statistical physics, condensed matter physics, uh, one on string theory, quantum field theory, quantum gravity. And then, of course, uh, uh, Vijay has been nucleating a group on biology, physical biology. Uh, and and uh, we have uh, a, a more general set of mathematicians who work in various interdisciplinary areas uh, connecting with some of these. And uh, like I said, uh, our faculty are sort of I think they, they, so the people who come here are people who are intellectually open to looking at uh, science as a whole and not sort of compartmentalized. So we don't really have these are sort of norm sort of uh, convenient labels, but we don't like to bin people uh, uh, so exclusively. Uh, so ICTS has also functioned as a platform for various activities, uh, especially um, uh, in an in international setting. Uh, so it's the nodal, one of the nodal centers for LIGO India. And LIGO, which is the Gravitational Observa Wave Observatory, uh, it's, uh, uh, we are a tier three data center, which will hopefully get upgraded to tier two. Uh, uh, we were involved in a sort of large data uh, high-speed network and the setting up of one in a joint US-India program. Uh, this program, of course, is this is the fourth uh, in the incarnation of the ICTP-ICTS uh, program, which is uh, a good example of the cooperation between different institutions across the world. And I hope this will increase and uh, uh, we'll be able to build on this. There have been the Asian winter schools on string theory between China, Japan, India, and Korea, and we are the Indian node for that. Uh, there are the ICTS summer schools on condensed matter physics, the ICTS with Brandeis schools on statistical physics, uh, and uh, there was a planet-wide initiative in 2013 on the mathematics of planet Earth, in which, again, we were coordinating uh, from the Indian side, and this involved a lot of outreach activities in sort of uh, uh, taking mathematics and, and its importance to the public. Uh, so that's one, uh, uh, the, one of the, the, the research-oriented uh, uh, component. Uh, about the ICTS programs itself, I'd just like to say a few words about them. Uh, so we envisage our programs to have sort of three components, pedagogical lectures, which you will, of course, have uh, uh, by experts. And that would that's, of course, the way in which you uh, traditionally transfer expertise to junior research. 
researchers. Uh, there's a discussion component often, uh, which gives researchers a chance to exchange ideas and strike up collaboration. So trying to leave time for people to talk and, uh, and find common ground. Uh, and uh, uh, and then there's often a conference. I don't think this one has a conference component, but in any case, there uh, uh, many programs uh, do have a conference component, which is sort of more traditional. Uh, uh, but what we would really like to see in programs, just to sort of repeat something I've said, we want especially the involvement of students and postdocs, uh, ask questions, uh, uh, get hold of the re researchers uh, whenever at uh, tea time, lunch time, uh, whenever, and uh, you're all trapped here, so to say. I mean, <laughs> so, you're, uh, so you have all the time with the researchers, so, uh, 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 so please make the best of that. Uh, and uh, we would like to see, in general, coming from all this, uh, new and emerging areas of research, uh, both in India and sort of more generally, uh, to be incubated, hopefully, through collaborations. And uh, we would also like, and I think this is probably important in the context of this meeting, to be a forum where theory and experiment can also sort of uh, uh, in, uh, uh, exchange notes. Um, so um, we've organized since 2007 about 101 programs and 27 discussion meetings. And uh, it's had over 5,000 participants in, uh, with a substantial component from abroad. Uh, so I, I think it has made a tangible impact on the Indian science scene. And we hope that uh, uh, now, with uh, having moved to the campus, this is just the third or the fourth um, meeting we are having here on the campus, uh, uh, it will sort of burge in and uh, we'll have more of this. And this is a sampling of various ICTP programs we've had. They range from cosmology, random matrix theory, string theory, relativity, the role of theory in biology, meteorology, big data, relativistic uh, jets in galaxies. So, um, so a whole range from the uh, um, uh, microscopic to the macroscopic. So we also have named lecture series uh, on various uh, topics uh, in the physical sciences, the uh, lecture series named after Subramaniam Chandrasekhar. Uh, we've had a variety of people, uh, 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 eminent scientists, giving these lecture series. There's in mathematics, a similar one named after Ramanujan. And in biology, computer science, engineering, and related areas, there's the Alan Turing lecture series. Uh, we will have one by Bill Bialik in a month from now. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so that's uh, we. Uh, this has just sort of started getting going. So uh, we hope to have more of these uh, uh, later. So as I said, these are uh, 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 people who give about two or three lectures. Uh, and the, with the first one being aimed at a sort of a colloquium level, whereas the rest are more. Uh, uh, specialized. We also have other series, uh, Abdul Salam lecture series after Abdul Salam, the founder of ICTP, uh, where, um, the theme being more on the engagement of science and society. Uh, we have ICT as distinguished lectures, ICT as public lectures, like the Ken Ono one, etc. Uh, so this is what the campus will look like eventually. I mean, right now uh, it doesn't, uh, it looks uh, approximation to that, but yeah, we hope that it'll be much more green and, uh, and all the uh, unsightly construction uh, uh, will be done with soon. But but uh, hopefully next time you come here, it will look like this. Uh, and uh, it will be, it, we, we will have by then a library and uh, computing and networking infrastructure should be in place. Uh, conference and lecture halls, of course, we have sort of started uh, getting them going. Uh, but uh, uh, we hope to have also rec recreational facilities. Uh, uh, so here actually near the cafeteria is uh, supposed to be a swimming pool and uh, uh, squash and badminton courts and uh, gym and so on. So, uh, so next time when you stay here, uh, you'll hopefully have all these and uh, also childcare and uh, uh, facilities. So, so all this is for the future. But in the meanwhile, uh, let me uh, wish you all a very productive and uh, stimulating uh, school. And uh, uh, I'm sure the organizers will be doing a very uh, good job in uh, in managing things, but please feel free to get in touch with them or me or any of us in case you have specific 
complaints or problems. And we definitely like feedback so that we can improve and make this a sort of very welcoming uh, uh, place. So thank you very much. Thank you, Rajesh. I'll ask Professor Matthew Marcelli from MyCTP to say a few words.